Despite prioritization of malaria in the country, recent National Malaria Control Division statistics indicate that 10 people die of malaria per day, totaling to 300 people per month. The high malaria epidemic regions include Eastern, Northern and West Nile. It is against this backdrop that the Ministry of Health rolled out the Indo residual spraying in West Nile. The launch was graced by the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taebwa, top officials from the Ministry of Health, members of Parliament from West Nile and implementing partners. Health experts noted that out of the 13 districts in West Nile, only nine will be catered for during this phase, citing limitation of funds. With the Minister of Finance and the PSSD, we discuss issues of financing for malaria. If you say you're putting over one trillion in parish development model, but people are dying. Yeah? Because parish development model is targeting the poor, 39%. But those are the same people malaria is targeting. So whereas we are targeting uplifting people out of poverty, you can only uplift people who are healthy, people who, can, who are alive. So the fight against malaria is a fight for survival. Our budget that government of Uganda contributes is about 10% of the $150 million that is required as a country for the fight of malaria. The 90% comes from our good friends, the Global Fund, UK Aid, USID, PMI, and so forth. So we anticipate with time, right, Honorable Speaker, donor fatigue will set in. This $150 million needs to be shouldered by government of Uganda. If we are not to be caught off guard. On top of the interventions, the National Strategic Plan targets to have indoor residual spraying conducted in 50 districts to attempt elimination of malaria by 2025, although the current available funding is for 23 districts. Districts and uh, the parts of eastern and central, it is costing altogether about $6.7 million. That is uh, about $24 billion. Uh, IRS costs about 1.5 to 2 billion per district averagely per year. It's a very expensive exercise and uh, that is why we want to make sure it is done properly. We achieve coverage, we don't lose the chemicals and we deliver the impact which is needed to malaria. Members of parliament were tasked to advocate for increased funding from government, donors and other organizations to support regular and sustained implementations of indoor residual spraying. My people and to urge government, as the right honorable speaker has said, the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Health to, so that we can increase the budget in the fight against malaria and fight it out of Uganda completely. We the MPs, our role in this activity is largely to mobilize the communities for the general acceptance of this activity. We are there to assure the community that this insecticide, which is going to be used in IRS, is very safe and very effective against malaria. Zahara Abigaba, UBC News.